By the end of today's video, you're going to understand exactly how you can classify your emails using AI. And I'm even going to show you how to classify past emails and new incoming emails. We're going to be using Gmail in today's example, but a lot of these things are going to transfer over to whatever type of email provider that you're using. So if you want to classify and label your emails using an AI tool, by the end of this video, you are going to be able to do that. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to build this automation in today's video, but if you want the quick, easy, one-click install, then I recommend joining the AI Foundations community. Now this is not just a grab and go, grab your template and leave type of community. We have a ton of other templates coming down the pipeline and we also teach you how to fish instead of just giving you a fish. Now you can join using the link below in the top pinned comment or in the description. You can get access to this amazing feed here where you can post and share different automations with people and ask for support help. You can also access the calendar where we have weekly calls and you can join and you can ask questions. You can join the introductions and rewards call. We even recently had a call on how to deploy your own application and we're going to maybe make this a staple in the group as well but most importantly you can go to the classroom you can go into the n8n mastery course and if you go down to the agent build section and pop this open you're going to see the gmail classifier here you can click on the resources link and you can just click download and then once you've downloaded that file, you can just open up a fresh NADEN instance and you can click on these three dots in the corner and import from file. Go find that email classifier, hit open and boom, we have the entire automation right here ready to go for you. So if you want to join AI Foundations and get access to the community, the classroom and the calendar, then you can use the link below and you can get the one click install for this automation. You can also get support if you're struggling with implementing this and this video just isn't enough to get you through. Now I'm quick going to show you how this automation works. So if I click into this get all messages here, I can change the limit of the amount of emails. I can also filter out any emails that are already classified. So in this example, I'm classifying for work, personal or spam. And these are the different labels that I don't want to bring in if they're already in that label. And then here I can change the amount of emails that I want to pull through. So let's just say I want to pull through 50 of the latest emails that aren't part of these labels already. Then I can just go back to canvas and I can test the workflow and it's going to go through. It's going to pull the 50 most recent emails that aren't already labeled. And then it's going to get the messaging content from those. Once it has those messages, it's going to pass it over to this code node here, which is going to pull out the HTML from that email. It's going to turn it into plain text for us so that the AI can understand it. And then this AI right here is going to actually classify those emails into either personal work or spam. Once it's done classifying those, which this step can take a little while because it's going through and classifying 50 emails in this case, it's going to pass them off and it's going to label them inside of our Gmail. Now, like I said, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this step by step. I'm going to show you how to do it if you have new emails and you just want the new emails to get classified. I'm going to show you how to batch it like I just did here and pull all of your old emails. And I'm going to give you the full rundown on how you can filter out these emails, how you can get the messages and you can convert those to HTML. And remember, if you want the code in this code node, you can join the community and you can actually get access to that. You don't have to go through the steps of actually creating that code like I'm going to show you how to do in this video. If you're struggling at that part, then you can just grab the template from the community and the code is already going to be in there for you. Now, as I said, this is going to take a little while to load, might even take a few minutes if you're running 50 items at a time. All right, so now those emails have passed through and it's labeled those emails. You see 50 items have come through here. And then if you go into your email, you're gonna see that I have some categorized as work, some categorized as spam, and I have some categorized as personal. Now let's get into building this automation. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add in a Gmail trigger. So if I type in Gmail and then I click on the Gmail node, and then I click on on message received, I should see that this pops up right here. From here, I can click the drop down and then I can create a new credential. Here, it's going to recommend the OAuth 2. I can just hit sign in with Google. I can sign into my Gmail account and then hit continue. And it should say connection successful. Now it'll redirect me to this page and I can rename my credential for later so that I know what this is. Let's just call this classifier and hit save. And then I'll close this and we're gonna fetch a test event. All right, perfect. Now a test email is coming through here. So right now we're getting the snippet, but I want to get the full message. So if I go back to Canvas and then I click the plus button here and then type in Gmail, I can click on Gmail and then I can click get a message. 
And then for the message ID, we're just gonna drag in the ID and I'm gonna turn simplify off. Now, if I hit test step, I should see all of this information come through here. And if I continue scrolling down through this information, I'm going to see the HTML. So this is actually going to be the full email. Now I'll go back to Canvas and I'm going to add in a code node. So we'll add code. I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. I'm going to turn on the search and then I'm going to say write a N8N code node with JavaScript that receives HTML as a variable and outputs clean, plain text. Let's send that off and we'll see what we get. All right, so now let's go ahead and copy this code. We're gonna take it back over to N8N and I'm just gonna paste it here for the code node and then we're gonna test this step. And I'm not getting the full plain text, just with the plain text. I'm gonna say it's outputting the entire message along with a plain text that looks like this just output plain text and get rid of any extras. So now we'll copy this. I'm gonna paste it back into N8N and then I'm gonna test the step. And now it's still outputting the full message, but let's see what the plain text came through as. Okay, and the plain text came through looking good. I'm gonna say this worked great. However, it's still outputting all the JSON variables. I only want it outputting one variable for plain text. All right, let's copy this and we're gonna paste and run it. All right, perfect. Now it's just outputting the plain text. Now we'll go back to Canvas and I'm going to click right here and type in open and I should see open AI. I can click on that and then I'm just going to message a model. And now I'm going to create a credential for OpenAI. So I'm gonna hit create new credential and I'm gonna head over to platform.openai.com from here, I'm gonna click on the settings gear and then I'm gonna to go to API keys and create new secret key. And I'm just gonna call this classifier and we'll add it to a project and then hit create secret key. And we'll copy the secret key and hit done. Now I'll paste that API key here. I'm gonna rename this to classifier as well. And then we'll save and we'll close this once it's successful. And I'm gonna give this a system message. So I'm gonna hit add message and we'll have one for the user and we'll have one for the system. So I'm going to say you receive plain text from an email and it's your role to classify that email into one of three categories. The three categories are work, personal, and spam. I'm gonna say work is anything involving work, personal, is anything that's personal spam is newsletters or anything that is not applicable to me directly and it's just a mass message and then i'm going to say output in json with the following structure and i'm going to give it the json that we need so i'm just going to put a curly bracket and then we'll put one two three spaces and I'm gonna put a quote and we'll just say category and colon, and then we'll put some more quotes here. And I'm just going to put in the different options that it can do. So I'll do work slash personal slash spam. And then we'll scroll down here and it will add another curly bracket. And I'll just say output only one category. And here in the text for the user, I'm just gonna type in plain text and we're gonna close that off as well. And then we'll drag in the plain text and we're gonna make sure that this variable is inside of there. And then I'll delete that. And so now it's the variable from our previous code node inside of the plain text. And I'm gonna click on output content as JSON and we're gonna also simplify the output. So I'll select a model. I'm gonna select O3 mini and it's not showing up. So we're just gonna type O3 and we'll click on the O3 mini 2025-0131. And now we'll test and perfect to output the category of work. So now we'll go back to Canvas. And if we wanted to classify this, we can add in a new Gmail. So I can hit plus here, type in Gmail and click on Gmail. And then if we type in label here, 
we can label the message. So I can add a label to a message. I'll just click on that. And then for the label or IDs, I'm just going to click into here and it's gonna show me all of the current labels that I have. So I don't have a label yet for this. So if I go into Gmail here, I can add some new labels. So I'll create some labels just by clicking this plus. And the first one I'm going to add is work. We'll hit create and we'll create another label for personal create and we'll create another label for spam and spam isn't allowed. So let's just call it spammy and then hit create that. And back here, I'm going to go back into the system instructions and I'm going to change this object out from spam to spammy. And then I'm also going to make this say spammy and here we'll say spammy as well. And then we'll test this again and it should output work. I'll go back to Canvas and we'll run this. And because this still isn't working, I'm gonna go back to Canvas and we're gonna list the labels first by clicking plus right here. I'm gonna type in Gmail and I'll click on Gmail and then I'm gonna type in label and we should have a get many labels and I'm gonna return all of the labels and test that. So I have 38 total labels here. All right, so now it's showing me my labels. And if I scroll through here and click through the pages, I should be able to find the different labels. So here's the label for spammy. Let's go ahead and copy that label. And I'm gonna go back to my system instructions now, and I'm gonna make sure that I pass in the label. So I'm going to, for spammy, put label and paste it. And then for personal, we'll do label. I'll go back to the canvas, and I'm gonna go into our labels here, and then I'm going to search for the uh, the other labels. So we have personal and we have work here. So I'll just copy all of this and I'll go back to canvas and I'm going to go back into my AI agent. And here I'm just going to paste in the JSON and then I'm going to copy these labels out of it. So for work, the label is going to be here. I'll just pass that label in. And then for personal, we have the label. So I'll copy that and we'll paste that for personal. And here where it says work personal or spammy, I'm just going to paste in the different labels with a slash in between each of them. And then I'm also going to put the labels in for the definitions here. And then I'm gonna get rid of this JSON down here and we'll test this again. And this time it should come through with a label ID and I'll go back to canvas. And now I'm gonna delete this get all labels and we're just gonna pass in the ID instead here. So for the label name or ID, I'm going to drag in the category and then we'll test the step. All right, perfect. And this time it actually labeled that message. And now let's go back over to Gmail. And if I go into my work label here, you're going to see that it actually properly labeled this message here. And you might be wondering, what if you have a bunch of emails that you want to put through here that you don't already have labels for? Like maybe you don't want to just receive a new email. You want to actually run through all the existing emails. So for that, what you can do is you can delete this first Gmail trigger here and we can add that back later. But for now, I'm just going to add a first step and we're going to add a trigger manually and I'm going to trigger this manually. So what we're going to do is hit plus and then I'm going to type in Gmail, click on Gmail and we're going to click on get many messages. So here I'm going to return all. And this is going to get everything inside of Gmail. So this might take a little while. I'm going to go back to Canvas and I'm going to connect this up. And then actually for now, just for a quick test, let's change this really quick to just not return all, but let's return like, uh, I don't know, like eight. And you can do this as well. You can do uh, individual amounts at a time. And then I'll go back to Canvas and I'm going to test the workflow. And since the variable name is the same here, it should pass through all eight items and then label those for us. And this message a model step should take a little while because it's going through all eight of those emails. All right, and then we ran into an error. So let's see what went wrong here. Reference node doesn't exist. And I'm gonna drag in the message ID from here. Then we'll go back to Canvas and I'm gonna test this again. And now it should send through all eight emails. So now I have some work emails, I have some spammy emails, and I also have this personal here. Now you might be wondering, what if something is already labeled? Like we don't wanna label it again, right? So we wanna be able to filter right here on the get all messages. What I can do is I can go into the get all messages, go add filter, and then you're gonna go search, and then you're going to paste in this example right here. And then we're gonna hit test step, 
and this time it's not going to pull in anything that has these labels. Now let's try it with a bigger number. So let's go to 30 and I'll go back to Canvas and we'll test this workflow. And it should pull in the past 30 messages that don't already have that label. It's gonna get those messages, the contents of them. It's gonna send it through the code node and just return the plain text instead of the HTML. And then it's gonna run through all 30 of those using the OpenAI message model and then it will label those individually in Gmail. All right, now this has completed right here and I recommend doing this in batches actually. I wouldn't do it as like all emails. I would actually send like 30, maybe 50 at a time and then make sure that it's working properly. And if I refresh over here, you're gonna see that it added all the work emails, it added all the spammy emails, and it also added the personal emails in here. If you want the quick, easy, one-click install, then I recommend joining the AI Foundation's community. Now, this is not just a grab and go, grab your template and leave type of community. We have a ton of other templates coming down the pipeline. We also teach you how to fish instead of just giving you a fish. Now you can join using the link below in the top pinned comment or in the description. 